Hey everybody, Twin Diggers here, Pat and Pam. Yeah! We are back again at the 1885 farmstead, digging in one of many dumps. Uh, but we spent a lot of time here because there's just so much in here. So we have added to our bottle pile. And uh, we also found some really neat little things that we'll go through. And we were here yesterday and it was super hot. We spent more time digging just to clear this mound that uh, we'll show you behind us. And we did still pull up some really neat things. So let's go through that. Okay. Pam was really hot on finding the uh, mason jar lids and all the little bottles. So we found another dad's root beer, which is nice. So we're gonna clean that up for the family. And finally, we found an intact Hilux bottle with the lid on it um, we found so many of these that have been broken and the larger gallon ones too right. that were broken I'm hoping to get a whole one out of there before this is over with mm -hmm. uh, we counted nine um, ball mason jar lids and they are all in really good shape so these are going to wash up well mm -hmm. uh, this was kind of neat that pulled that out and it had all of the acl still on it polish and cleaner so that was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. There must have been some type of an aspirin bottle or Pepto-Bismol or something in there to leave that white film in there. But we'll get that out. And then a couple other just neat little Art Deco bottle there with the siding. Uh, we've been finding a lot of the um, St. John's Baby Aspirin bars or oh, jars yeah. with the lids on them. And these wash up really nice. It's a rubber cap that lifts off. So that's in good shape. Another really neat Art Deco bottle. This actually had dish soap in it. Mm -hmm. And when we dumped it out, it bubbled up. So that was kind of neat. And then this is uh, this is kind of neat. Another lid. And uh, this was Vicks probably cough syrup. Mm -hmm. So that'll clean up nice too. Uh, some kind of jar. I'm not sure what was in that. I don't think food was in it um uh, too bad this was all shattered but beautiful milk glass dish and we thought we'd just pull that out to show you it, it it looked like it was quite large we haven't found any other pieces to it so that was neat and this uh had a lid on it with a uh, uh, syrup uh, where it slid back and you poured the syrup and i thought this was a real neat jar and so that'll clean up really well. That's You could use that for a lot of things. A flower vase, put marbles mm -hmm. in it, whatever. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, another bottle that came out with the ACL on it, which was in really good shape. And then we were surprised to get this cork top. Um, because the stuff that we're in right now is 70s, 60s, 70s. So somehow this made it in, and uh, a beautiful, thick, heavy glass. So that was cool. And some shards that we have not found yet. Pam found these pieces, which were going to be excellent for the uh, art projects that we do with the shards on our birdhouses. And uh, just a single milk glass that was there. And this was really a neat find. Pam found this. Well, if you can zoom in there a little. This is a cast iron tractor. And boy, I bet it was really, really well made. Mm -hmm. And I'll turn over this side. See the little engine in there. It's too bad the wheels and such are gone, but uh, I don't know if it's a Tootsie or what. There's no writing on it, but it's definitely old. If anyone may have a date on that that they know of, please let us know. Or if you know who made it or, yeah. you know. It's just really neat, but it is all cast iron. Mm -hmm. And this is a very unique find. And Pam, you can tell them, oh. what, explain what this um, is. This, I'm pretty sure it's silver plated. It looks like there was a little handle on it. I'm almost positive that that was a cup that would have been given to a baby at a baptism. Um, so really, I'm almost, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah. Yep. So 
So that's cool. So that would have probably belonged to one of the six children here. Yeah. And then going down here, so I don't forget, another find from Pam, this big old file. Mm -hmm. And there's so many people that find these, and I wonder why they throw them. I mean, you could mm -hmm. still see the ridges in them. And, and can you imagine how big the wood handle must have been oh, on that? Yeah, I mean, to hold, Yeah, to hold that thing. Another find fun that Pam found is this old iron motorcycle rider. That and is so I don't know if cool. That would have been a wind up toy. I'll turn that over. But that is old. Yeah, and it looks like that is the tire, you know, I even looked at is the tire like a rubber? It's it a is. rubber tire. It's a rubber tire, so it's. And there's something yeah. rubber here too, and so I'm not sure why. That's why I think it may have been a wind, a wound up, wind up toy. Yeah. Possibly. Isn't that cool, you guys? Yeah. Looks like a yeah, definitely yeah. a motorcycle for sure. And then this, all the guts two o'clock. Mm-hmm. All brass. Yeah, and so wind, and look at the wind up on there too, the little wind handle. Yeah. Isn't that neat? I don't know if it was for a mantle clock. Uh, could be, I'm not sure, but there are uh, several other gears that came off that we just set aside so mm -hmm. we didn't lose them. Um, getting back up to the shards, we found a nice little mixture again. Uh, this is one that we have not found yet with the feathers on it. Yeah, never seen that. that even, was... even when we go to antique stores, Pat, we've never seen no. that type of design on it. And then we had some Fire King. So this is a jadeite coffee cup. And we're going to bust that up and use the shards. And this was real cool, too, with the coloring on it. And I actually, it looked like it was some type of a vase. And there isn't anything on the bottom, but it's just real pretty blues. And this will be, we'll use this for shards, too. It had this tan and blue in it. So that was kind of fun. Mm -hmm. It almost looks like it's kind of painted milk glass, doesn't it? Like it's got... yeah. Yeah, like it's a milk exactly. glass. Yep. And just some more shards, um, which are real pretty. A lot of floral on everything, which mm -hmm. we seem to find during that 60s, 70s era. And then this one, we know for sure, this is Red Wing Pottery. Yeah. We actually have a lid that will show mm -hmm. you that we think goes with that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah. And then I'll start a little back here and then come forward. Um, we found several of these cups. This one was in the best shape. It's got a shamrock maker's mark on there. Minneapolis, Minnesota. And I think this will wash up nice. This is probably an old Tupperware mm -hmm. glass. Uh, crockery on this yeah, big just... old green bowl. Yeah, it's pretty old. Yeah, and then part of a crock. Mm -hmm. Big old thick that is. Probably what, maybe a two gallon crock, could, possibly. Could be. And then I think this was to a canister. We found the lid to this last time we were here and we had it on video. And that's the other piece to it right yeah. there that I and, I, and they were dug in separate areas though. But yeah, it's, it's the you same can tell coloring. It's the same thing. Yeah, same colors on it. And then we think this is the lid, mm -hmm. probably to a sugar jar. Right, to the Red Wing Pottery. Went to the Red Wing Pottery. Yeah. Okay. Well, All right, you need to get in. up and move around. No, nope, I'm just moving around here. Okay. I'll move this way to get Got it. Away then. Yeah. Okay. Found this little toy. Had little blue dots on it. We should have had the end of it on it, but cute for the kids. Mm -hmm. This little emblem, it says Tom Thumb, and it has little things in the back that looks like it may be pushed into a toy. So we're not sure what that is. I don't think it's the Tom Thumb grocery stores that used to be around. No. Mm -mm. Um, this little teeny medicine bottle with the measurements on the front. And we're just, you're going to, I'm just going yeah, to try to go through. You've got a lot on your goodie tray here. I so. know. Um, a, another square nail that we find. And this is my find of the day. Mm -hmm. Another child's spoon baby spoon and it came out of the ground just like this and i think it is silver but there's no marking on the back mm -hmm. so uh this has been awesome all the spoons that we found mm -hmm. um another thing before i forget 
We found two baby spoons in our last video, and after I cleaned them up, one of them had a birth date in the spoon bowl. Mm -hmm. And I called um, the one of the siblings who was helping us with this and said, uh, do you have a sibling that was born on this date in this year? And uh, he said, yes, that was my sister's baby spoon. And he said, that's my mother's handwriting. So their mother engraved that on the spoon and it cleaned up so well. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that was quite a keepsake that we found. It just goes to show you put a little elbow grease into something and bring it back to life. Mm -hmm. um, Pam found these neat glass stoppers. And we're not sure what they're for. They have plastic on the end of them. Probably to seal it, I would think. Right. The top. So I don't know what those would be for but gosh it's a real pretty thick glass wouldn't you think it's like some kind of a canister lid to mm, you know i i something. couldn't even guess yeah. i couldn't even guess and those are neat uh we found this really cool lipstick top and it says on there oh uh, can't even see it here non smear type and it's just a real pretty copper color mm-hmm um, these little teeny jars, they had eyedroppers in them, and we found one in our last video. I think it was at, what, Kirkcomb or something that was red? I can't remember. I don't, yeah, it was something that was in them. And then Pam found this little teeny jar with the lid. And we're going to look that name up and see what that is. So it's like Rorig or something? I think the X... Maybe it's for Medicaid or I don't know. I don't something. know. It's a L fifteen seventeen on the bottom. Yeah. Always so fun finding these little jars. Uh, all of a sudden you're digging and a boom, they just pop out and it's like wow. Yeah. And then you have your little plug there, your little yeah, extension, little plug. Little plug. And then cool. um, the father of this property, he was a pipe smoker. So we found some uh, ends to some pipes, mm -hmm. a little salt shaker top. Um, we found two of those and um, a little piece of a toy gun. And then another magnetic letter. This is our third one. We found N this time. Mm -hmm. um, more of the uh, St. John's baby aspirin bottles with the lids on them. Another toy gun. Oh, aren't they St. Joseph's? Or St. Joseph's. Saint Joseph's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, that's okay. St. Joseph's. Another little toy gun. Um, some caps, which we always save because you can reuse them. We found a Hylex cap. That one says low cal, uh, gold metal, sugar free. So that would have been for pop or ginger ale. Um, this neat old insulator that would have went on the electric fence. So that'll clean up really nice. And these two blue wheels, I'm not sure what they were off of, but they were by each other. Some more of these plastic little cubes, um, they're not, we're not able to uh, clean them up and reuse them, but we just wanted to show you. I think that's like the fifth, mm -hmm. fifth ones we right. found. From their little toys. Another one of these little, they used to put, put them in the ends and, mm -hmm. and uh, make chains, mm -hmm. those. Um, another little tire, which is fun. Off of an old car. I found this. It's a letter S. And it's on tin. And do you think that... You know, I was thinking about that. Do you think that could have gone on a license plate? Well, for some either that weird or, thing or... I was thinking maybe a mailbox or something. Oh. Uh, that would be my thought, but yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And then we love finding these, these glass fuses. Mm -hmm. That one... It says they're both say royal crystal, but they're just thick glass, and these are just they're just really cool. Mm -hmm. We found a glass stopper and that was in good shape. Uh, I'm not sure what this thing is, I think it was maybe something else obviously fit on top of this, but it was some kind of a egg or something. I'm thinking, um, a little old bobby pin. I'm gonna move some stuff around here. And then um, uh, Pam found this this old light, and there's the chain that goes with it. That's in really good shape. Yeah, that is in good shape. Yeah. 
and a baby bottle. Mm -hmm. Even flow. It has all the measurements on the side. Yeah. And we did find one last time, but it was, wasn't it melted? Or yeah, something? it was melted. It was, it was pretty bad shape. Yeah. So that was from when the kids were little yeah. that were here. And this is my fun find. Yeah. A little Texas Ranger gun. And uh, it's got the little bull on there with the horns on it. And a shell. Uh, an old shotgun casing. And this was interesting. This had a light bulb inside of it. And I don't know if it was for a blinker on something or a little toy maybe. But uh, I thought that was kind of cute. Mm -hmm. And then getting down to here, um, we love finding these because we use these on our birdhouses. This is an old Comet cleanser lid. They're just so fun. Mm -hmm. This item, we're not sure what it is. Um, but it is brass. It kind of looks like it's a doorknob handle. It could be. But I don't know. That's a good idea. Yeah. This is a lid, um, and I just stuck it in the ground because it had a stick on here. I don't know if this is shoe polish. We're going to look this up, but it does say... Let me get in on that. Yep. Dian Shine or Dian Shine. Mm -hmm. Probably had a little brush on the end of it and was a shoe shiner thing, yeah. I would assume. And... Does anyone know what this might be? I know what it is. Well. Because I found it. I don't know. Pam thinks that this is an old ice cube. Mm-hmm. But I'm it not is. sure. No, it is. I, well. I'm pretty sure be, I think because should... one of the owners was here yesterday, and he said the same thing. He said that's from an old ice cube tray. Oh, that's why you're so sure of yep, yourself. Yeah, that's you why. You didn't tell me that. I should have made you a bet, and I would have won. Doggone you. I know. And this is really cool, too. Got this latch on it. So we're going to ask them what that would have gone off of. Yeah, that is neat. It's so fun when we talk to the siblings because they all remember what this stuff was for, and that's really cool. Mm -hmm. Pam also found this, which I already know what that is because I found them before. That's a headlight. It's for a headlight. I don't know if it's a tractor or if it's a car, but... I think it might be a, a tractor. Because remember we found one of those yeah. at another farm? Yeah, it and could be. And I think somebody mentioned to us that that's what it was. Yeah. And this, Pam, was... I should just say you found almost everything Pretty today. much, yep. Mm -hmm. Look at this. It's the Adams Company, established in 1832, I think, or 1883. It's hard to read. Yeah. In... Uh, D Dubuque, Dubuque Iowa. Iowa. So, isn't that sweet? That damper, mm -hmm. and it does have a patent on the back. So, that was a cool find, sis. Mm -hmm. yeah. That hiding back there, and I thought this was just fun to show, um, to show the old spam label. We found that on the can. Mm -hmm. So, deviled spam spread. This was a little more modern, but. Um, I don't know, probably some kind of piping for plumbing. I don't know. That was cool. Mm -hmm. It's heavy. Yeah. And then just um, real neat little finds. Pam found this cap, which is to a radiator. Um, you think? Well, the one the owner said he thinks it's a gas cap. Okay. Yeah. So that's a cool piece right there. I don't know if it's to a vehicle or to a tractor. I'm not yeah. sure. And... I'll take this out of the way so I don't forget it. Yeah. More copper wire mm -hmm. that we found. And that is a value. I'll put that over there so we don't lose it. Okay. Um, we were told that they, um, the dad had a machine shop where all of the tools were for everything. And we think this is what it, this is one of them that we found. Mm -hmm. A hexagonal. And boy, this baby's old. Mm -hmm. It's not a Stanley or, uh, mm -hmm. you know, anything like that. So that was cool. And then this really neat brass washer. Or hexagon. Is it a washer? No. Um, eh, I can't think of what it is. A nut. A nut. nut. Yep, a nut. Uh, here's a washer. Mm -hmm. This big washer. Found this cool hook. We found these before. Right. Yeah. 
and this little doohickey. That's kind of cool. cool. And this little piece of iron. That was neat. What this must have been maybe for something electrical. I don't know. Maybe for a car, mm. for the battery or something, or a f uh, farm. Gosh, who knows? Tractor. It's got fancy on it, though. It looks almost like yeah. there's writing on it, isn't there? Yeah, I can't wait on to there. clean. It's got little lines going all around it. Mm. See, like, oh, yeah, there I you see can that. see it. Right. But there is something written there. Mm -hmm. So we'll check that out. Uh, a clip, which is neat. And then this is part of a sickle and here's actually a sickle and the owner described it as it fit into this and went up and down yeah it go, he said it goes like in there was a piece missing here and then that would go on that and it like would go there? up and down something like that something like that yeah okay this is, is extremely iron. heavy yeah and it, it's just really cool looking. I, it reminds me of a cross. I don't know why, but it's cool. Mm -hmm. Or a dagger. Yeah, dagger. <laughs> medieval dagger. <laughs> this little doohickey probably went on a tractor. Yeah. Some kind of a clamp. Uh, and Pam found this. This is really cool. Anybody know what that is? Here. It is neat. So... I thought that was interesting. You know what it looks like? I know it's not, but it's it looks like one of those turkey basters that you put in a turkey. <laughs> that could be. I, I doubt it. That's yeah. that's old. <laughs> this was in rough shape, but it was kind of fun. Mm -hmm. It was an old farm tractor. It's made another, out of rubber. Another child's toy again. Yeah, made out of rubber. Lost his head. Poor guy. He lost his arm. Lost his head. Lost his He's wheels. He's been through heck. But, uh, so that was kind of fun. Mm -hmm. And we have found... A ton of these. Yes. So um, In, insulator for then that would have been for the barbed wire fencing probably. Yeah, right? I think so. Yeah. For electrical or whatever they call it. And this is the only green belt beer can. Mm -hmm. We did show in our previous videos we found hams. Mm -hmm. And so when we pulled out that old green belt, we're like, yeah, we got a video. Look at that. how nice the ACL is on that, you guys. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's cool. And then um, Pam found two old license plates. They're pretty tough shape. Mm -hmm. I'm going to lay them down here so she can video them. 1953 and 1954. 1954. Yeah. So yeah. those were fun. Those we cool. found one a few weeks back that was in absolute pristine shape. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, and yeah, our biggest phone yet. Look at this honker. That we found. This was a dairy farm, so we think maybe a cow had passed away. and Yeah, that's what we're thinking. Could have that's been huge. buried in the back of the dump we're in. Yeah. But that is the biggest bone that we have ever, ever, come ever found. Yeah. And we found tons of bones in here, you know, dinner mm -hmm. bones and stuff. And it's fun. We even, yeah, I know. We have a collection of them over there in our pile. We'll show you. More of these milking. Rubber, rubber things utter utter yeah they used them for milking the cows yeah and the, one of the owners said oh i'm i you won't be surprised if you're going to find a lot of these in this dump and and we did yeah. so but they are really kind of cool yeah they are all right and this ring right there don't know what it is but this thing's heavy i don't know if it went to the inside of a wheel of a wagon mm -hmm. but that that is nice. Yeah, that's a nice piece of iron. Yeah. And we always try to have what the heck is it in our video. Mm -hmm. So we're going to ask, what the heck is this? It's got this big hook on it. This obviously moved up and down. Mm -hmm. uh, big bolt there. And no, this thing looks is... Looks like it's a hitch, doesn't it? I don't know. It's, no. It's it, big. it is heavy. Yeah, it's a big iron piece. So this is our, what the heck is it? Please hey, let Pat. us know. What the heck is it? I don't know. I don't know I either. I have no idea. Ooh. Top yep. of a milk. Old milk can. Yep, old milk can. And, of course, this is a dairy farm. Yeah. And 
we have been over to the area where they actually still have quite a few of them left and they are in beautiful condition and um, it's just so cool to see that, yeah. that they still have it here at their farm. I actually have a milk can that yeah, I do has too. the same exact cover and handle yeah, on it. I do as well. All right. This old honking thing. Yeah. I thought maybe it'd be full of some old bottles, but it wasn't. It was just full of a lot of roots. Mm -hmm. So, again, Pam got this one out. Yes, thank you so, very much. Yep, nice little handle so, on sis, there. So, sis, let's show all of our bottles now. Okay. And we're going to give you guys a tour of where we're at at this stage, yeah. right? So, I'm going to... So, go ahead and I'll go follow ahead you. Of you. Yeah, go ahead. So, the area here, we have not dug yet. Yeah. This entire area where our lawn chairs are. Yep. All the way in here. Mm -hmm. So And all the way over here. And yeah. all around in here, too. Concentrating in sections right now. Yep. So we didn't want to keep coming forward with our bottles, so we started stacking them. Mm hmm So this is, we had a lot today. So I would say from here oh, yeah. over to the old radio forward mm -hmm. is what we got today. Mm hmm And then all the baby jars, we just kept stacking them. Yeah, stacking we've got them like them. four and five levels yeah. stacked. There's just so many of them. Yeah. So isn't this crazy, you guys? Look at that. Finding a lot of amber. You can see some of the old ACLs on yep. salad dressings, tons of ketchup. Carol Beautiful. syrup. And we keep butter. talking about it. Skippy peanut butter, yeah. um, salad dressings, mayonnaise. We are finding olive jars, pickle jars. Yeah, it's just it's, fun. It's just amazing. And what's interesting is, is when you see a jar... You remember what it was from your childhood because yeah. that's how they made them, like Western dressing. Right. It had that certain type of jar on it. Mm -hmm. And um, the style and all yeah, of that. The yeah, the style. So that's that's our load here. We moved our uh, ammunition pile and our, our bone our pile, bone pile uh, to the back side just because mm -hmm. we needed a little more room in here. Mm -hmm. And then um, Pam's just going to take you around to... Uh, the uh i call it the big mound that we're getting yeah. down well um, i'm going to start over here okay uh, what we've been doing is we've been bagging up all of the plastic all of the junk um hauling out all of the broken shards of glass we have almost another whole recycling bin up uh where our car is and just to kind of give you an idea there's a path here that we take to get down here There's a deer path. and we're quite a ways away from the farmhouse so we're pretty buried back here which has been really nice so this is the steel and iron pile that we've been working on and now that we're on the back side of the dump we started another pile back there uh so we've got that um and then so here we are yeah, so there used to be quite a mound here, as you can see. If you look in the first videos, you can see how much we've taken down. And obviously, you can see how many how many jars and bottles we've pulled out of here. So Pat's been concentrating on this area, and she was working on this. And then I'm going to walk you over here. I've been doing the area back here. Pam's been an animal back here digging. I know. Um, I'm still recovering from yeah from surgery. My gallbladder surgery, and I really can't do a lot of heavy things right now. So she's been going to town on the backside of this. Yeah. So we've got this much of the mound left. Okay. And Let's stand up here so we can get kind of a reference. Yeah. It's hard to show it on a. Hey, what are you doing up there? On a cell phone. Uh, cell phone. Yeah, there you go. And so I've been working on all of this. I've been bringing it down, bringing it to the left, and then going through everything. Um, that big piece right there, we're going to have to have the owner help get that out. It's a gigantic gutter, I think it's wrapped um, and we tree, think right? it's wrapped around the tree, and we're not going to hurt ourselves on that big bad boy. So this is our other pile now that we've been doing down here with all of the steel and the iron. Um, this was from before, as we mentioned before, where that big round flat lid is, which is right there. That's where there's an underground huge wasp nest. 
and since we've been stung, we're staying away from that. So we moved it over here. Um, I probed all the area, so what we've done is we took this dead tree and everything past this dead tree um, is not the dump. So we've kind of made a defined line of where we are. So then over here, I'm just going to, over here, and we're pulling on, I'm pulling off of this side right now. So that's what we've been doing. Um, and uh, yesterday, as Pat said, it was really hot. Today, it's not as hot, but um, yeah, it, we've had a couple little rain sprinkles, but nothing major. So we've been, we've been pretty good. And hey, that looks good up there, Pat. Yeah, look at you up on the hill. The other thing is, is just the help from the owners, the yes. family members. It's been incredible. They're uh, recycling all the glass shards for us. Mm -hmm. They've been uh, carrying up the heavy, heavy bags. There's plastic, a lot of plastic. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of bags, shoes. A lot of old shoes. A lot of shoes. So we're cleaning up the area every time before we go because... Uh, we've been coming back every other week, and um, every other, yeah, every other weekend. And we just like, like anything, we like to leave things better than uh, we came up to it. So mm -hmm. it's been a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, today we we kicked butt. Yeah, or you did. You found a lot of stuff. Yeah, so it was it was really fun. Yeah. So. Anyway, we're gonna have still pictures of everything on our Twin Diggers Minnesota Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And I wanna just say that we are thoroughly enjoy watching all of our YouTubers that we follow. It is such an inspiration watching you all digging and metal detecting and out on the rivers. And um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a great group to be involved in. And if you have a chance, check out some of the other channels that we follow on our Twin Diggers Minnesota YouTube channel. I think you'll really enjoy it and see how just in the different states and the types mm -hmm. of bottles they find and things. It's very interesting. Mm -hmm. The different terrain and what they have to deal with when they're digging. And actually, I think we feel really blessed because mm -hmm. we have really good soil when you're digging on farms. You know, it's... It's always good soil yeah, on farms. nice and black and rich, and it's it's not that yeah. difficult. There aren't a lot of rocks and things like that. Right. Yeah. So that's all we have for now. Thank you, everyone, for liking, subscribe. Tell everyone about us. Help us build our channel up. We'd greatly appreciate it. Any? Oh, um, next weekend, um, I have, uh, I'm going to be up at our cabin, and I'm going to be doing metal detecting in the water. We have a gigantic sandbar across the lake and it was packed full of people uh, July 4th weekend and every weekend and so I am going to be metal detecting and I'm planning on putting out a video so I hope I can find things like I always try to do to get the hooks out the lead out try to get sharp objects out and I don't know maybe I'll find some jewelry we'll see and so. I am going to be washing up bottles yeah. and cleaning all this stuff up. Right, uh, just, that we're going to be giving to the family. Yeah, we've yeah. already given them two boxes full of goodies, and they're just thrilled with it. So each time we come, we leave a box on their doorstep of fun things. Mm -hmm. So it's very rewarding. Yeah, you we're bet. Very, very gracious and appreciate, appreciate everything they're doing for us. And we're going to be on this property for quite a while this yeah. is just a small piece of what we're doing that's right we've this got, is we got 80 acres and this dump right here as you can see where all of the leaves are okay that's just one dump on this property yeah. there are quite a few of them going all the way down the line where the fencing is yeah. the barbed wire fencing yeah. so we're, we're, we're getting, getting pretty started. pumped yep. all right everyone thanks so much for watching take care have a great day you guys Alrighty. thank you Bye bye, -bye.